In this video series, we focus on the musculoskeletal system starting with amputation of the lower extremity. The diagnosis we will focus on is deficient knowledge. Here we will learn how to write a care plan. Before we start, check the description below for your free care plan worksheet. This will be useful for writing down rationales provided in this video. Now let's continue with the video. The purpose of a care plan is to document the patient's needs and wants, as well as the nursing interventions, or implementations, planned to meet these needs. As part of the patient's health record, the care plan is used to establish continuity of care. What are the reasons a patient may have deficient knowledge? The reasons include the following. Insufficient information about amputation and prosthesis. Insufficient interest in learning. Insufficient knowledge of resources. Misinformation presented by others. How can you, the nurse, tell when a patient is experiencing deficient knowledge? They may do the following. Insufficient knowledge. Inaccurate follow-through of instruction. Inappropriate behavior. What is our goal for the patient? The following are the goals. Patient verbalizes understanding of residual limb care. Patient verbalizes understanding of the rehabilitation program and prosthetic fitting. Ongoing assessments. The ongoing assessments for deficient knowledge are. Assess the patient's knowledge of care of the residual limb, phantom limb pain management, signs and symptoms of circulatory problems, prosthetic care, follow-up appointments and community resources. This information provides the starting base for educational sessions. An accurate understanding of self-care following an amputation facilitates a smooth transition from the hospital to home. Assess the motivation and willingness of the patient and caregivers to learn. Some patients are ready to learn soon after they consent to the amputation, others cope better by denying or delaying the need for instruction. Learning also requires energy, which patients may not be ready to use. Determine the patient's and the caregiver's self-efficacy to learn and apply new knowledge. Self-efficacy refers to a person's confidence in his or her ability to perform care of the residual limb and prosthesis. Some lifestyle changes associated with the amputation and prosthesis can be difficult to make for both the patient and caregiver. Therapeutic interventions. Now let's go over therapeutic actions of the nurse. Reinforce teaching for the care of the residual limb, such as wrapping the residual limb, skin care, and weight-bearing limitations. Accurate self-care measures promote optimal rehabilitation. The patient may need to continue wrapping the residual limb to promote the effective shaping and successful fit of the prosthesis. Provide information for phantom limb pain or sensation management. Phantom limb sensations may continue for several months or longer. The patient may need to continue using techniques begun in the hospital to manage these sensations. Discuss the signs and symptoms of circulatory problems. Reinforce the need for the patient to protect the residual limb from infection and circulatory compromise or damage. Signs of infection, circulatory compromise, or skin breakdown should be reported to the physician immediately. Reinforce teaching about the care of the prosthesis if applicable. Some patients may go home with a temporary prosthesis. The patient needs to understand how to maintain the prosthesis in proper working order. Provide the patient with information about community resources and support groups. These groups offer support and best practice information to help the patient adapt to the amputation. That's it for this video. Check the description below for your free care plan worksheet. This will help you retain information for passing exams.